Hello there guys, I'm back with a quick movie review for you, as I haven't done one for a while. I'll be doing some more of these in, um, during the year of 2013, but I thought I'd come back and do one today, as it's uh, Christmas, and I thought I'd do a little festive review. Um, so yeah, so we'll be getting to that in a moment, but first I'm going to show you my um, Christmas tree. So here it is. It's a nice blue fibre optic tree. And it's got some pretty cool lights on it, as you can see. So, yeah. Okay, I don't have many horror-themed Christmas movies in my collection, but I do have two. And the two movies in question are Gremlins and Gremlins 2. Both these movies star Zach Galligan, Phoebe Cates, and the voice of Gizmo is provided by Howie Mandel. And uh, there's also another actor featured in Gremlins, and that's a very young Corey Feldman. So now on to my review of the first Gremlins film, and then after it'll be Gremlins 2. While searching for a Christmas present for his teenage son, Randall Peltzer discovers a small furry creature called a mogwai in an antique store in Chinatown. The owner of the store refuses to sell the Mogwai on the grounds that owning one is too great a responsibility. However, as Randall leaves the store, the owner's grandson sells Randall the creature, stating that the family needs the money. The boy gives Randall three specific instructions in caring for the Mogwai. Never expose it to bright light, especially sunlight, which will kill it. Never get it wet, which will make it multiply. And most importantly, never ever feed it after midnight. Randall takes the Mogwai, which he gives the name Gizmo, to his family in the town of Kingston Falls. To me, this movie is so much better than its um, sequel, A New Batch, but um, I really enjoyed this movie. The um, only downside to this edition is that it doesn't come with any special features, just the movie on there, but that's, um, you know, it's a really good film and I really enjoyed it. So, uh, so yeah, just inside, show you the disc. There it is there. Same um, artwork as on the cover. But yeah, that was my uh, thoughts and review of the first Gremlins film. So now let's, on, let's move on to Gremlins 2, A New Batch. After the death of his owner, Mr Wing, the Mogwai Gizmo becomes the guinea pig of the mad scientists working at Clamp Enterprises an automatic state-of-the-art office building in Manhattan, run by the eccentric billionaire Daniel Clamp. At the mercy of the chief researcher, Dr. Catheter, Gizmo reunites with his friend Billy Peltzer and his fiancée Katie, both who work at Clamp Enterprises. Clamp himself visits and quickly befriends Billy upon being impressed by his skills in concept design. Also sparking the interest of Billy, Billy's superior, Marla Bloodstone. Gizmi Gizmo is left in the office and spawns a new batch of Mogwai when he gets wet, including Mohawk, who is the reincarnation of Stripe. The new batch eat after midnight and transform into Gremlins. Okay, the sequel to Gremlins, Gremlins 2, the new batch, it is a good film, but it's no way near as good as the first film. Except on this edition, you have got some pretty cool special features, which include over 20 minutes of never-before-seen footage, a behind-the-scenes documentary, Feature-length commentary by director Joe Dante and producer Michael Finnell, gag reel and trailer, 
So, um, apart from having some pretty cool DVD special features, the actual film is no way as good as the first. But, um, yeah, let's just take a look at the disc here. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, this is my um, Christmas horror movie reviews of both Gremlins and Gremlins 2, uh, which I hope you all enjoyed. But uh, from me to you for now, this is it, so goodbye and take care.